Hey what's up guys. In today's video we are listing the top 5 best computer speakers in 2022. Through extensive research on Amazon products, we have put together a list of options that meet the needs of different types of buyers. On our channel from 1 to 5 we have got you covered. For more information check the box down and don't forget to like subscribe and hit the notification bell, and now let's get started. The Audio Engine A2 Premium Powered Bluetooth Speakers with Integrated DAC, A2 Plus Wireless Speakers provide clear, true stereo sound and can easily connect to all your music in seconds. Great for your desktop, work from home setup, or smaller rooms. The integrated Bluetooth with long range antenna quickly and seamlessly connects to your phone, tablet, or computer for an instant upgrade to your listening experience, features, Analog Class A slash B power amplifiers, dual analog audio inputs for connecting multiple devices. USB audio input and Bluetooth aptX. The A2 Plus features true stereo sound, a subwoofer audio output, custom aramid fiber woofers and silk dome tweeters, and a power saving idle mode. All cables are included and it works with Mac or PC out of the box. No software to install and no microphones to protect your privacy. 60W watts of power. Experience room filling sound from a tiny footprint, great for your work from home setup. Easily connect the Audio Engine S8 or other subwoofer via the RCA variable output. The Creative Pebble V3 building out your desktop setup can get expensive, especially for those who are working from home regularly. The Creative Pebble V3 proves you don't have to spend crazy money to snag a pair of serviceable and super affordable computer speakers. Despite its compact size, the Pebble V3 produces loud and crisp sound, putting what comes out of your laptop speakers to shame. The Orb inspired design is attractive and takes up very little space, plus we appreciate all the hardware, e. g. 2.25 inch driver, passive base radiator, and inputs, e.g. 3.5 mm port, USB-C, creative managed to squeeze in. There isn't much bass coming out of the driver, which means lows can lack depth on contemporary songs. A headphone output would have also been appreciated to enjoy music privately. Granted, the price point makes the Pebble V3 an incredible value. The Edifier R1280dBS distortion-free sound, fill your room with beautiful sound with its 42W continuous undistorted power, 13mm silk dome tweeter unit, and 4-inch subwoofer unit. Enhance your listening experience with Sound Field Spatializer, the adjustable dials located on the side of the speaker to control volume, bass, and treble more accurately, treble dial, bass dial, master volume control slash input selection, press, input mode switch, line in 1, line in 2, optical, coaxial. Bluetooth, press and hold, power on slash off, press and hold, disconnect Bluetooth, in Bluetooth mode, power indicator, Bluetooth 5.0, Pair the speaker wirelessly to your phone, tablet, or laptop by the latest Bluetooth technology, suitable for iOS, Android, Mac, or Windows devices. Klipsch describes the Fives as a powered speaker system, which is about as specific as you can get. They can be used as a hi-fi system, either standalone or with a source plugged in, as desktop speakers, or indeed as a true stereo alternative to a soundbar thanks to the seemingly simple, but nonetheless shrewdly incorporated, HDMI arc connection, Klipsch sees this as a potential driver for many customers adopting the Fives. And, as a publication that generally favors stereo speakers as an alternative to a comparatively priced soundbar, in terms of basic audio performance for the money. At least, we don't see anything wrong with that concept, this isn't due to a lack of focus on Klipsch's part, but part of the forward movement of the company as a whole. The company is trying to expand its reach, rather than simply throwing what it can at their speakers to see what sticks, the fives represent a step towards what Klipsch describes as a more global sound. The American tuning with which the brand is so familiar remains, but some of the leanings of the European and Asian markets, typically favoring delicacy over sheer scale, have been deliberately addressed. What we hear is not exactly the final destination, and there isn't, we're told, a particular sound at which Klipsch would like to arrive. But anyone on our side of the Atlantic who might have written the brand off for its sonic presentation could afford the brand a keener ear in the future, an open mind is preferable when approaching the fives, as are some relatively deep pockets. At £839, $969, or $1.1599, they aren't going to be an impulse buy for many, that price tag places the fives in roughly the same realm as the Nye Muso QB. Sonos Arc and Kef LSX 
The fact that those are three entirely different products only highlights just what a versatile product you're getting for the money. KEF has shrunk its multi-award winning LS50 wireless streaming speakers, which now have a sequel in the LS50 Wireless 2, down to make miniature and roughly half-price versions. The KEF LSX, the LSX shares its successful siblings blueprint as an all-in-one hi-fi system, a network streamer, Bluetooth receiver, and amplification within a pair of compact stereo speakers. But creating the LSX isn't just a case of simply miniaturizing everything in the LS50 wireless anatomy and cutting the price in half. In addition to the smaller cabinets, smaller UniQ driver arrays and smaller 200W amplification, some changes have been made to cater for the price and size reduction. Rather than combining a class A-B circuit to feed the tweeter with a class D module to power the mid slash base unit, as the LS50 wireless does, the LSX's amplification is purely class D. Such a design is compact as well as being more power efficient. This reduces the need for large, bulky heatsinks and means KEF can keep the plastic cabinets, which used to be MDF on the LS50, as small as possible. The LSX system loses a couple of its bigger siblings' connections, USB Type-B, for computer and laptop hook UPS, and RCAs for connecting legacy hi-fi kit. But KEF has evolved its stereo speaker system concept on the LSX. Since the LS50 wireless was launched, the company has developed its proprietary, wireless inter-speaker connection so, unlike that setup, the LSX system doesn't require an Ethernet cable to connect the two speakers. It's something KEF then naturally carried into the LS50 wireless too. The system can play high-res files all the way up to 24-bit slash 192 kHz but will downsample to either 24-bit slash 48 kHz if the speakers are connected to each other wirelessly or 24-bit slash 96 kHz if you do decide to run the supplied Ethernet cable between them.